Hello viewers, how are you all doing? Welcome to eScholastic. In today's session in mathematics, we will be covering integers from class 6. It is contents that we will be covering today. Defining integers. Explaining integers on a number line. How we order integers. Then adding and subtraction of integers. Addition and subtracting integers using a number line and additive inverse. Before we move and start up with the topic, let's have an intro video. Kindly listen to the video very carefully. Sometimes we need to use numbers with a negative sign. The most common area is while expressing temperature. In cold regions, the temperature goes below zero and is expressed as negative numbers. In this lesson, we will learn about collection of negative numbers, positive number and whole number that is also known as integers. So now let's understand what are integers, how we define integers. Student, you already know that the whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And when we put the negative numbers along with these whole numbers, that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on, we call them integers. So integers are the collection of whole numbers and the negative numbers together are termed as integers. How we represent the integers on a number line? Let us see. This figure represents a line with some point marked at equal distance. There is a point on it which is marked as 0. The point on the right of 0 are termed as positive integers whereas the point on the left of the 0 are negative integers and they are marked as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. These kind of representation on a number line is termed as number line representation of the integers. To mark plus 2 on a number line, what we have to do? We move 2 steps from 0 on the number line towards the right side. Similarly, if we want to represent minus 5, we will be moving 5 steps from left of the 0 on the number line. These are some of the examples. We are going to understand this concept more clearly in our forward slides. What is the representation of integers on a number line? We have seen. Now let us understand how do we order the integers accordingly. Let us again observe the integers that are represented on the number line. We know that 9 is greater than 5. And it is always placed on a number line 4 point all steps on right of 5. Similarly, we know that 5 is greater than 0. And 5 is placed 5 step on right to the 0. Now, between minus 1, minus 2 and 0, we know that 0 is greater than minus 2. And minus 2 is placed two step on the left of 0. Now between minus 7 and minus 2 we know that minus 2 is greater than minus 7 and minus 7 is placed 5 step on the left of minus 2. So what we have seen? We have seen that a number line the bigger number are placed always on the right side and the smaller numbers are at the left side. How do we add two positive integers? Let us see that. Now, here is an example. A boy is stepping on the staircase. He goes six steps up from the ground and halts for a while. Then goes up four more stairs. How many stairs he goes up from the ground? Let us see. Here it is plus six plus plus four which gives you plus six plus four. And hence the answer is 10. So the number of steps moved by boy from the ground is 10. How do we add two negative integers? Let us see with an example. Let's try to understand. 
In a game, you have to pick up any two pieces of paper on which a number is written. You have to add the numbers written on these two papers. Suppose you get minus 2 and minus 5. What is the addition or the sum of these two negative numbers? Let us see. The addition will be minus 2 in bracket plus minus 5 in bracket which gives you taking the minus 2 in common 2 plus 5 in bracket and it gives you minus sign and answer is minus 7. What happens when we add two integers where one is positive and the other is negative? Let us understand this concept with an example. In a game, you have to pick up any two pieces of paper again and on which the number is written and you have to add the numbers what are written on these paper. Suppose you get plus 5 and minus 9. So what is the addition and sum of these two negative these two uh, numbers which is one negative and one positive it will be plus 5 plus minus 9 in bracket which gives you plus 5 minus 9 so in this case whatever the sign the higher absolute value is having that function is performed and the answer carries that sign so the higher absolute value here is 9 and the sign before it is minus so here the subtraction will be there 9 minus 5 4 and as the value has the sign negative so answer will be having sign minus so the answer will be minus 4 addition of two positive integer on a number line we have seen how we add, add them normally now let us see how we can add them on a number line let us say we want to add 6 plus 4 that is 6 plus 4 so for that we move 6 step to the right from 0 and then on reaching 6 we move 4 step ahead on a number line from 6 and thus reach the 10 so what we get we get 6 plus 4 is equals to 10 what happens when we add two negative integers on a number line let's see we want to add minus 5 and minus 4 so that is minus 5 plus minus 4 so for that we move 5 step to the left of 0 on the negative side we have to move so we will be moving on the to the left from 0 and then on reaching minus 5 we move 4 step ahead on the left on the number line and thus we reach minus 9. Thus we get answer minus 5 plus minus 4 which gives you minus 9. So we have seen that when we add two positive integers their sum is positive and when we add two negative integers their sum is always negative. Let us take one more example to understand this thing. An ant is moving on a number line. It moves 6 points right from 0 and then comes 2 points back. Where is it at present? Let us see. It will be at 6 point right from 0 that is plus 6 and then comes 2 point back that is minus 2 which gives you 6 minus 2 fourth point. So it is at the fourth point to the right of 0. Again one more example. If the same ant is moving on a number line, it moves 6 point left from 0 and then comes 4 point to the right. Then where is it at present? Let us see. It will be at 6 point on the left from 0 that is on the negative side which is minus 6 and then it moves 4 points to the right which is plus 4 and then minus 6 plus 4 gives us minus 2 so the end is on the second point to the left of 0 now this is the concept additive inverse let us understand what are additive inverse in the integers Suppose the ant walks 3 points towards the right side. 
that is plus 3 of 0 and walk back 3 points minus 3 towards the 0. Where does it reach? So it is 3 plus minus 3 in bracket which gives you 3 minus 3 0. So the additive inverse of 3 is minus 3. Similarly 2 plus minus 2 gives you 0. So the additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. So the additive inverse is the reciprocating the sign of any integer given is termed as the additive inverse of that number. If the number is positive it gives you negative, additive inverse is negative and if the number is negative the additive inverse will be positive because the additive sum of two additive inverse are always zero. So this is the concept of additive inverse. Now let us try and add the positive integer and negative integers by grouping. For better understanding we shall do it with an example. We have a number series of number and we need to find this sum that is the sum of minus 10 plus 5 plus minus 7 in bracket plus 2. So here we are going to group positive integer and negative in integer together separately. We are going to group them separately. So it will be minus 10 in bracket plus minus 7 in bracket plus 5 plus 2. So hence it gives us minus 17 plus 7. And as we know the function when we have two integers one positive and one negative the function that is being carried out is always the sign which is being carried by the higher absolute value. So the here higher absolute value is 17 which has the sign negative. So it will be 17 minus 7 that is 10 and as the sign of the higher absolute value is negative so the sign will be negative. So we get an answer as minus 10. Let us do an additive inverse based question. For better understanding we shall do with an example. Find out the difference or subtract minus 5 from minus 10. So minus 10 minus bracket minus 5 equals to minus 10. Here this minus and minus will become plus. Minus of the subtraction and minus of 5, the sign that is before 5, it will become plus. And so we will be getting 5 which is the additive inverse of minus 10. 5. So it will be minus 10 plus 5 which gives you minus 5. So that's all. Now let's do the recap of what all things we have learned today. The set of integer is z which is equal to within bracket minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0, 1, 2, 3. On the number line, all negative integers lie to the left of 0 and all positive integers lie to the right of 0. The number 0 is less than every positive integer and greater than every negative integer. Rules for addition and subtraction of integers. 1. When two positive integers are added, we get a positive integer. When two negative integers are added, we get a negative integer. When one positive and one negative integer are added, we subtract them and put the sign of the bigger integer. The subtraction of an integer is the same as the addition of its additive inverse. So this is the home assignment based on the topics and the concept that we have covered today. These are the simple ones, just the true and false. We will be able to do it. So that's for all the day and I hope it was an interesting session. Thank you for watching my video. 
and please do subscribe my channel and along with that press the bell icon near to it so that you are notified about the upcoming videos related to science and maths basically of CBSE board and if you have any other topic on which you want me to prepare a video you can just comment below in the comment box so till we meet next stay home stay safe thank you